This is section 824. We're going to take a look at the unit circle again. And this time, we're going to be taking a look at tangent and the reciprocal ratios. So how do we find tangent? Well, we know that sine is y and cosine of theta is x. Well, tangent is sine of theta over cosine theta, which is the same as y over x. So tangent just means, oh, I need to do y over x. And this tells me how much it rotates. So this rotates to 135 degrees. And now I need to do y over x. Now a nice little shortcut here is whenever there's a gap in between stuff, those cancel out. So everything cancels out, so I'm left with negative 1. Tangent of 270, so y over x. So negative 1 over 0, you can't divide by 0, so it's going to be undefined. Tangent is 7 pi 6. So we rotate over to 7 pi 6, y over x. So y over x. Twos cancel out, so I'm going to get 1 over root 3, and the negatives also cancel out. And then now we rationalize it. So root 3, root 3, so it's going to be root 3 all over 3. Tangent of 5 pi thirds, y over x. So y over x. So twos cancel out, so I'm just going to get negative root 3. Tangent of 360. So we rotate all the way to 360. So y over x, that's going to give me 0. And the idea of you can keep going, right? So that'll rotate to here or that one minus 30 degrees. All of that's the same. It's just because it says tangent, you do y over x. Now, what about the reciprocal functions? The reciprocal functions are in the name, reciprocals. So all you have to do is find the sine, cosine, or co uh, tangent value and then flip it. So in this one, cosecant of 135 degrees, I know this relates to sine. So I'm just going to keep that a note to myself, sine of 135 degrees. So I'm going to go to that. Rotate 135 degrees, my sine value, which is the y, that's going to be root 2 over 2. So then the cosecant value, you have to flip it. Then now we rationalize it. So secant of 270, secant relates to the cosine. So I have to think cosine of 270. So we're going to go all the way to that. Cosine is going to be 0. So the cosine, so this is going to be 0. Now I have to flip it. Now it's weird. We have to think of that as 0 over 1. So if I flip that, I get 1 over 0, which is undefined because you can't divide by 0. Cotangent, that's the same as tangent. So go to 7 pi 6, what's the tangent of this? So I'm going to get y over x, reduce. But now because it's cotangent, I'm going to flip it. So you get root 3 over 1. Cosecant, that relates to sine. Okay, sine of 5 pi thirds. So I'm going to go all the way to 5 pi thirds, my sine value. Okay, so that's going to be negative root 3 over 2. Now I have to flip it because it's the reciprocal. Now we can rationalize it. So you get 2 root 3 over 3. Same idea when it comes to keep rotating and negative rotation. All of it doesn't change. You just find the sine, cosine, or tangent value, and then you flip it for its specific reciprocal. So what did we learn today? We talked about how to find tangent and the reciprocal ratios on the unit circle. How do you find tangent? Tangent is sine over cosine. Or if you want to think about it as y over x, you can do y over x. And how do you find the reciprocal ratios? You need to find the sine, cosine, or tangent ratios. And then you flip it, which is going to be the reciprocal. It does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.